problem we would like to see that which of these two values is bigger here we have 1.01 to the power of 100 equals to 1 plus 0 0.01 to the power of 100 that is this can be rewritten as 1 plus 1 over 100 to the power of 100 now i would like to say something here if you have a to the power of 3 this is the same thing as saying a times a times a now i would like to use the same approach in doing this so this is the same thing as saying i mean if this is a okay we're gonna have 1 over 1 over 100 multiplied by 1 plus 1 over 100 you can continue multiplying this okay up to 100 times that is this can be multiplied in 100 times so using the same rule of this now we have 1.01 to the power of 100 to be this now let me call this my equation 1 I'm, refer I'm going to come back to equation 1. Also, looking at the right hand side, when you have 2, 2 is the same thing as saying 200 over 100. 200 over 100 is equivalent to 2. Now, this can be break down into this. If you have 101 over 100, multiply by 102 over 101 multiply by 103 over 102 multiply by 199 over 198 multiply by 200 over 199 if you look at this approach this is still going to be the same thing as 200 over 100 why because if 101 cancel 101 102 cancel 102 103 cancel 103, 198 cancel 198, 199 cancel out 199. You're still gonna have 200 over 100. But there is a technique that we like to use. That is why I'm using this approach. Now, continuing with this, here, my two is the same thing as. Recall that if you have 101 over 100 this is the same thing as saying 100 plus 1 over 100 which is the same thing as 100 over 100 plus 1 over 100 which is 1 plus 1 over 100 so this approach is going to be used so now looking at the previous expression here i can rewrite this as saying recall the last expression i have in the previous slide let me write that here i have 101 over 100 times 102 over 101 multiplied by 103 102 multiplied by 199 over 198 multiplied by 200 over 199 this is what i have in the previous expression so now using this technique i can rewrite this as saying one plus one over hundred plus one plus one over one zero one this is the same approach i'm using one plus one over one zero two this can be continued if you use the same thing for 119 over 198 you're gonna have 1 plus 1 over 198 here we have 1 plus 1 over 199 now if you look at this this is what i have i'm gonna call this my equation 2 i recall in the previous slide that i have 1.01 to the power of 100 equals to 1 plus 1 over 100 1 plus 1 over 
100 1 plus 1 over 100 1 plus 1 over 100 and also 1 plus 1 over 100 we call this was repeated 100 times now having a good look at this this can cancel out this right they are the same now let's look at this first expression here we have 1 plus 1 over 101 and in this expression here we have 1 plus 1 over 100 which of this is greater you can see that 1 over 100 is the same or true in the multiples of 1.01 to the power of 100 but in this case we have varying values of the denominator which is 101 102 up to 199 then which of this is greater now i'm going to do something here recall we have 1 over 100 is greater than 1 over 101 why the higher the denominator the lower the value just like 1 over 2 is greater than 1 over 3 so if you look at this carefully we have that 1 over 100 is greater than 1 over 101 simultaneously it is greater than 1 over 102 is greater than 1 over 103 and is greater than 1 over 199 that means that for every value of this this is lower this is lower this is lower this is lower okay i mean the denominator is higher than this so this makes this value to be lower so this shows that 1.01 to the power of 100 is greater than 2 that is for every value of this if you compare this and this this is greater this is greater this is greater than for every value of 2 so 1.01 is greater than 2 and if you look at the exact value if you use the exact value it means 2.7 is greater than 2 2.7 is greater than 2 so this confirm what I'm trying to do if you have any question or you have a um, suggestion based on what I did there that is unclear you can put that in the comment section and um, I'm ready to provide the necessary corrections to that so the rule is very simple and very straightforward one thing you have to learn is that the lower the denominator I mean for a fraction but in a case whereby you have uh, let me just show something here in a case whereby you have the same denominator for example you have three you have three if this value is two and this is three this will be greater why because they're having the same denominator but in a situation whereby you have the denominator of three here you have the denominator of four and this is two this is two I mean the numerator are the same but the denominator is different the one with the lowest denominator is the highest thank you very much for watching please don't forget to subscribe